What is going on everybody and welcome to part one of Sponge Plugin Programming. In this part we will just begin setting up our server so we can actually start testing our plugins that we start creating. So what we want to do here is we want to first download Sponge and also the Forge installer. I already have them installed here but the links to these two will be in the description below so go ahead and click those and download them and let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So what we want to do here is we just want to create a brand new folder anywhere. I'm just going to put it in or on the desktop. I'm just going to call this YT server. Now, once we have that created, we want to go ahead and run this Forge installer that we just downloaded. So double click it and it'll come up with all of this. We want to install the server and we want to point this clicking on these dots. We want to go ahead and point that to this YT server folder that we just created or whatever you called it. Once you have it pointing to that folder, you want to click OK and let it download. And if everything worked out good, you will get this notification saying that it was successfully downloaded and we can close out of that. And now we can go into our YT server folder and we should see these three things. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and double click on this forgeuniversal.jar. So double click that and it'll come up, start the server, and before it actually does work, it's going to tell us to accept a eula.txt. And let's go ahead and check that out. As you can see, it's failed to load it, and you need to agree to the eula in order to run the server. So we can fix this by doing stop, exiting out, and you'll see this newly created .txt file, so double click that to open it up. And in here, you'll see that EULA equals false. Change that to true. Save it. So for whatever reason, whenever I go and double click on this .jar again in order to start the server, it doesn't work so well. And in order to completely bypass that, I use a batch file instead where it usually works 100% of the time. I have yet to see it fail. So we just do this by right clicking and creating a new file here and calling this start.bat. You can go ahead and call this something else besides start, but for now we will call it start start.bat start just for the sake of this series. And also, just to make this a little bit simpler, I want to rename this to forge.jar. Just make it a little bit shorter and easier to type. Now in our start.bat, we actually have to add something into this batch file to make it do what we want. And we want this to run this forge.jar file. And we do this using Java dash jar. And you gotta spell that right. Java dash jar, and then the name of the jar file that we want to execute. And in this case, it is forge.jar. Save that, exit out. And now, before we go ahead and want run this, we want to move this sponge.jar that we downloaded in the first step and move it to our mods folder. And this mods folder is where all of our plugins will go that we create and also where this sponge.jar will go because we want it to be loaded in as a plugin. Once you got that done, run the start.bat and you may get some errors here, but you can go ahead and ignore those because it's just going to create the files that it's complaining about in here. And if everything worked out, what we should be seeing here, and these are the errors here, it's just saying that the file wasn't found and it goes ahead and creates that for us. Now to make sure that the sponge.jar was actually loaded, if we scroll up a little bit, you'll see that the uh, connection with missing mods at client and at server, these two lines, you'll see in the square bracket list that sponge is there. And if you add any more plugins to this, you'll also see the name of that plugin in here as well. So since we have sponge in there, sponge was loaded properly, and we can go ahead and log into the server and see if it actually works. Let's go ahead, direct connect to localhost, join server, and it looks like it is working. We are able to log in and get into game here. So that is how we set up our sponge server. And that will conclude part one. In the next part, we will actually begin programming a plugin. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time.